So can a VPN be hacked? Well, the short answer is yes, it can, uh, just as with about any cybersecurity product. And so what I found is that all VPNs are not created equal. Um, so top providers like Express or CyberGhost, which I'll include links to in the description below, um, they use advanced security features that would take years or millions of dollars to hack. And on the other hand, there's other services, uh, free VPNs would be an example of this, where they actually sell your data for revenue. Uh, they're intentionally exposing you to possibly malware or even fraud. So choosing the right VPN is important because it determines how much risk you're actually being exposed to. So what I want to do today is just explain a little bit more about how VPNs do get hacked, uh, give you some tips to help you choose a secure service, and ultimately make sure you're making the best uh, decision possible for yourself. So let's start off with the basics. Um, you know, a simple explanation of how VPN encryption and redirection actually works. So first, your VPN uses encryption to scramble your data into unreadable code. So then to decipher it, you need the correct key. Otherwise, it will just look like a string of random letters and numbers uh, and symbols and so forth. So then it redirects your inter internet traffic to a remote VPN server to bypass your internet service provider and mask your IP address. Uh, your real IP address is what I'll call it. So the best VPNs, again, something like Express or CyberGhost, they're going to erase records of the data that pass through their servers, uh, like your real IP address or your browsing history and so forth. And so what this will do is it will keep you anonymous and secure from your real ISP, from hackers and others trying to harm you or take advantage or promote fraud or malware and, and, and so forth. So without a VPN, basically everything you're doing online is totally exposed, even if you're in incognito mode. So since your traffic isn't encrypted or redirected through a secure server, your ISP and anyone else can log and, and sell your data. Uh, if third parties acquire your real IP address, they can actually find your location and browsing history. And this is a big concern, especially in countries that don't have net neut neutrality. And so it's just something to be, a care be aware of, um, you know, the idea that there's cyber criminals out there that do want and will try to find this information about you if they can. So there's five weak points hackers target when it comes to VPNs. The first is they want to break the VPN's encryption. And so while it might be a bigger risk with low quality services, most cyber criminals don't try to break the encryption used by higher quality VPNs because it's too time consuming, expensive, it's just too difficult. And so it's actually estimated uh, that even the US National Security Agency would need a hundred million dollars in over a year to try and hack one encryption key of a top VPN. Uh, again, something like ExpressVPN or CyberGhost. However, not all VPNs use the same encryption standards. For example, DES and Blowfish encryption are older and may be less secure. So definitely I'd recommend avoiding any services uh, or VPNs that use these. Uh, the second weak point is stealing encryption keys. So for a burglar, it's easier to break into your house, for example, if they can steal the spare key under your doormat. The same is true for hackers. So decoding encrypted data through programming is really hard. So they usually try to steal encryption keys to decipher it. And hackers have successfully, successfully been able to steal keys from compromised v VPN servers in the past. Um, so that is again another potential weak point and why you want a really good VPN. The third point is they can take advantage of IP and D DNS leaks. So while taking advantage of DNS and IP leaks, it isn't technically hacking, but it's a common vulnerability in low quality VPNs. Uh, because together your IP address and your DNS requests, they basically reveal a lot about you. And this includes your true physical location, everything you've done online. And so this is where a VPN should be able to hide your IP address and DNS requests. But if there's any issues with the service software or it doesn't include an automatic kill switch, cyber criminals can acquire your sensitive data through a leak. The fourth point is exploiting weaknesses in servers. So some VPNs don't actually own their entire network. So they may rent servers managed by data centers in other countries. 
So this can be, again, another point of a vulnerability if a cyber criminal were to hack or find a weakness to enter the network this way. The last point is stealing user logs. So different services vary a lot in how much data they actually store about you when you're going online through their VPN. The more data a VPN logs about you, the more information is available for hackers to steal. So uh, with ExpressVPN as an example, there was actually a case where uh, one of their servers had um, been, uh, they needed to reveal the information to a, um, uh, an organization that was investigating uh, criminal activity and they were not able to get access to any logs that could incriminate anyone. So this was an example uh, where you know we know Express is the best VPN, but this was a real world example where someone could have got uh, into a lot of trouble had those, um, uh, had that information actually been logged. So again, this is why it's important that even though VPNs technically can be hacked, if you get a really good VPN, your odds go way down of that ever happening. And that's where I'd recommend two of the top, which would be Express and CyberGhost. Because in this regard, they have the top military grade encryption standards, um, great servers, and you're really minimizing your risk of that ever happening. Uh, so the difference between the two, it's really gonna come down to your situation. If you simply want the best, you wanna go with ExpressVPN. And again, I'll put links in the description to both of these that will also uh, link to any deals or discounts not available on their websites so that you can save as much money as possible. But Express is the fastest, it has more features than CyberGhost. Um, it uh, is better at unblocking Netflix. It's great for gaming, for torrenting. There's, uh, it doesn't bottleneck you at all. And you can connect up to five devices simultaneously. CyberGhost is close to being as fast as ExpressVPN, though it's not as consistent um, and again, not quite as fast. Also, CyberGhost doesn't give you as many different protocols uh, to use if you want to want more flexibility in how you're using your VPN. Uh, but that could be a good thing. It's, it's something for most users, it may not even be a big deal. The important thing is you get the security and so forth. Now, an advantage of CyberGhost is it's less expensive than ExpressVPN. Also, CyberGhost allows you to connect to up to seven devices simultaneously, whereas Express only allows you to connect up to five. Also, CyberGhost gives you a 45-day money-back guarantee, whereas ExpressVPN gives you a 30-day money-back guarantee. Now, 30-day money-back guarantee is pretty much the industry industry standard, so it's really CyberGhost going above and beyond here by giving you 45 days. So again, they're both excellent options, and I wanna emphasize that. They're both great for newbies. They're both very user-friendly. Uh, you can just get started very easily and know you're protected and not have to worry that you're clicking the wrong thing and your, your information is being exposed to cyber criminals. Um, again, just to put it simply, it's really coming down to do you want the best, the fastest performance and so forth, and you're willing to spend a little bit more for that, go with ExpressVPN. If you're trying to save as much money as possible and you don't mind compromising a little bit on speed and maybe some other features, uh, go with CyberGhost. Uh, again, they're both great and I'll put links to both of them below. And if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to let me know. I always love getting to answer as many of your uh, questions as I can. Uh, otherwise, if there's anything else you'd like me to talk about, be sure and put that in the comments below. I always appreciate your time and thanks for watching. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.